All right, so it's been eight years since Bleach has been on hiatus. And if you read the manga, uh, the anime stopped right around chapter 479, which was roughly episode 366 in the anime. It looks like the anime is finally set to return in 2021, but there's no confirmed date. The next part covers chapters 480 through 686. So this is roughly right after the full bringer arc ended through the end of the series. Expectations wise, I do look forward to the animation, but unfortunately, the rest of the storyline just won't be as satisfying as it was during, say, the Soul Society arc or the Arankar arc. Studio Piero animated the original Bleach during a time when the anime was pretty much rated as one of the best. At the moment, there's no word yet on whether the same studio is going to make a comeback to animate the next arc. Personally, I feel like the series just wasn't the same, especially after the war with Aizen ended. The quality for starters of the story sort of degraded. I felt like Kubo was just doing whatever he could to wrap up the storyline as fast as possible. And if you've only watched the anime, I'm not saying there's nothing else to look forward to. In fact, the next part is largely an improvement over the full bringer arc. But if you're someone that enjoyed Bleach from a plot perspective, don't expect the rest of the anime to be on the same level. And if you haven't read the manga yet though, the good news is you will get to see a lot of closure on several things. So for example, you get to see a lot of answers to questions around Ichigo's actual lineage or his actual background. Also Squad Zero finally gets a proper introduction, but I feel like they were super hyped originally in the series and never really got their time to shine. Or it could be just fans like myself who expected them to be in a completely different league uh, compared to the Gotei 13. But they turned out to be just okay as far as the power rankings go. Also, any forms of Bankai that were previously held back are also finally revealed. And if you remember Unohana, uh, one of the captains of the Gotei 13, you also get to see some insight into her actual background as well. But it looks like the majority of the adaptation is going to cover the thousand year blood war. And this is pretty much the final act of Bleach. But storyline aside, again, the quality of the animation needs to be on point. That's the least I expect from the studio since there have been several anime releases lately that are fairly new and they've gotten pretty good adaptations so the bar is pretty high at this point. Also another question that comes to mind. Is Burn the Witch a pretty good reference point of how the Bleach anime is going to get adapted? Let's hope not, because although this one-shot manga by Kubo was well received, the anime adaptation didn't really do it any justice. Not to mention, we have no idea whether it's going to be done by the same studio. Another question is, will the animation team avoid fillers this time around? I certainly hope so, because the reason for having filler episodes in the first place is to create a distance between the anime from the manga especially if it's ongoing. But since the manga has long been finished, let's hope the pacing of the anime is not too slow. So bottom line, will it be worth the watch? I think Bleach certainly deserves it. Again, this was one of the best selling manga, especially during the course of its first 48 volumes or so. But this was a time when Kubo was supposedly in his writing prime. So for now, let's hope for the best and keep our fingers crossed.